All right, so let's um, take a look at what we have. I just moved, removed the box really quickly. So one of the great things about this mower, and I've did a lot of research on it, is that it works, you can use it right out of the box once you add the, um, the engine oil. Um, so the instructions basically say, once you remove the box, you can either lift it out of the box or do what I did, and just basically um, pull the, the front part of the box open. So I'll just gently pull this back, and then we can go ahead and um, adjust the height wherever we want it. So if I want it there, I don't know, it depends, let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I found the sweet spot instantly. Um, they have these little latches, these little clips here that you can adjust the height kind of short. So I think this is perfect for me. But once you have that out, it has some warning signs here telling you add oil before starting the engine. So this is definitely safe proof. Um, the bag, I'm not gonna explain too much about how to put the bag on. It's very easy. If you just basically flip um, the, whatever you call this, over towards you. So obviously this is how you hold the bag. Flip it down and just, if you follow, The latches here to snap it on is very easy to figure out. It only goes in one way. So for instance, this one right here has this little latch right here. So you want this to go in the front. So you just kind of just slide it right on. It slides right on like this. So you slide it right on and you just, you just follow it through. So I'm not gonna go over that, that's kind of boring. Um, but anyway, so I got the um, GCV 170. Uh, my particular mold comes with um, throttle control. So I have throttle control and I have rotor stop, which is the blades. Um, you can basically, um, uh, when you start the mower for the first time or when you start the mower anyway, the blades won't be on unless you engage them. So you basically would push this button down and you have this lever right here that controls the actual blades, which is freaking awesome. So um, if you don't press this lever down and you just kind of bring this up, the blades won't turn on. One of the great features of this is that when, if you have to stop, you don't have to turn off your mower. The blade is going to be off, your, your lawnmower will stay on and you can walk across in the front and pick up any debris or anything like that and safely come back and then press the, the roto stop button down and engage the blades um, and then they'll turn back on. Then you have a smart drive control system. Let me go ahead and bring you guys a little closer. Sorry. So let me bring you guys a little closer here. So it's the uh, GCV 170. Um, you can see here you have your throttle control. Obviously when you first turn it on it tells you to have it on on max. Okay so then you have the stop the rotor stop here blade control so you're gonna basically press this in and push this back this lever back and then your your blades are gonna turn on. Other than that, your mower will be on. You can control the throttle, which is great. So anytime I'm gonna, maybe I'm going to use the the bagger, the well, yeah, bag bag my clippings. I can literally just lower down the acceleration, stop the blade, pull it out, dump it in the bag, put it back on, and this system is extremely easy. Um, the bags basically, if you look here, they go on these notches right here right there if you can see that so they go right on there on each side very easy this is what the interior looks like here that's that's actually a door and it's open right now but it closes um, if you want to bag or mulch let me see if I can show you what it does so give me a second here adjust the camera so, all right, so 
you have a lever for mulching, right now it's on mulch. You pull this lever up, and if you can see there, it basically closes and opens. So if you wanna mulch, you can mulch. If you want a bag, it opens up for bagging. If you wanna put it in between, you can actually control how much you mulch and how much you bag, or you can completely put it on mulching or bagging. Today I'm gonna leave it on bagging because I'm gonna bag some clippings. I have um, some leaves on the, on the, in the yard that I have to pick up. I have some dead leaves, so I'm gonna leave it on bagging. So one other unique feature of this lawnmower is that it has an off on switch for the gas, for the fuel. So obviously for storage, this is very important because then the, the, the gas is not always flowing. Um, or even when you're doing an oil change or anything like that to this mower, um, you won't have any gas spilling out of the tank. So right now it's on the um, off position and then you turn it to put it on the on the position. This is the lever that I was telling you about that it's very easy. You just basically, you grab this little lever here, you pull forward and you can go from bag to mulch. Very, very easy. It's just, I mean, it's effortless. It's so easy. I love it. it it's amazing. Um, the filter's right here. So if you ever need to change the filter, this is the filter. You just kind of push down on, this, on these clips right here and it comes right out. This is your fuel, obviously, which is another feature that I love about this mower, that a lot of them are so small. This one is so easy, um, and you can actually see where is the max versus other mowers that um, you can't determine when to stop. A lot of times you're spilling it on. So once you're done, it clips. You have your oil dipstick over here, the oil to check your oil. You always want to check your oil without it, this being screwed in because it, it comes screwed in from, you, you normally will screw it in, but you want to check it, just kind of like put it on top like that and then take it out and check it. Right now it has a little oil in there, not too much. Um, but I can do another video on how to do an oil change, but on YouTube there's a lot of stuff for that. Um, this is the latch that I was talking about that you can adjust your height basically you turn it see how easy it is it's like two fingers you can do this and you can move there's like little like little holes like this is a hole right there i don't know if you guys can see that it's right there um um and you can switch the height so that's a that's an awesome thing to have here is the label it says add engine oil before starting so it's dummy proof you know if you never uh, this is your, it could be your first lawnmower it's very very easy but for the most part um this is also real wheel drive gosh i love the color guys i enjoy this color again this is the hrn 216 um easy start auto includes auto choke um but um you have your smart drive right here which is freaking awesome this smart drive you can literally control your speed just by pressing down on it. And with this lever right here, you can control the position. So you can have it up here if that's more comfortable for you. You know, you hold this and you can have it up here. I'm probably gonna have like, I like to buy like clips that kind of hold this down while I'm riding around. I don't really like to hold both of these. So I have like something safely that I can clip here and then just control the speed. But this is a rear wheel drive um mower and the reason why i got it like that is because it's easier to control you kind of just when you're riding you lift and turn lift and turn it's so much easier and if you're going up i mean i don't have any hills if you look here my yard is pretty plain excuse all the mess and the water heater i just changed my water heater um not too long ago and uh, because of this quarantine thing i haven't been able to throw it out um but um but yeah this mower is definitely um, I think it's worth every penny. Um, it's supposed to be the top of the line. And I got everything that I wanted um, that this mower had. There are other versions that come with the remote start. So if you don't want the original pulling, um, they have a remote start. But the remote start one does not come, just, which is, looks cool. 
and it's you know um so i'm gonna go ahead and start up this bad boy and thank you guys for watching my video um i hope this is entertaining or maybe you learned something about this mower um thank you guys a lot appreciate you